Welcome back to another tutorial from Look Labs. Today we're talking about creating your own custom looks using speed looks as a base. This is a real fun part because the speed looks do a great job of shaping your color and giving you that 35 millimeter emulation. But now we're going to show you how you can make a few minor adjustments and create your own custom look. Let's get started. Alright, here's the fun stuff. Um, I've got my speed looks demo open and uh, I'm now going to show off uh, Look Lab's new product, Speedlux. Um, you can see down in the bottom here uh, in my Look tab. Let's click that, the Look tab up there. I have got uh, unloaded with the entire bundle of Speedlux on our first batch. We've got a black and white look called Noir, a really sexy blue look, orange and gold looks, a look called Matrix. It's very green and blue, and uh, the clean. And uh, we've got the 3500 clean F and 3500 clean K and those K and F actually just kind of refer to the film that we're emulating being Fuji or Kodak. Um, we also have some HDR presets uh, which I'll get into which are really nice low con presets that are great for dailies and so on and so forth. Alright well let's get started. Uh, last tutorial we had set up our timeline and uh, I'm now on my top grading layer and I can now just step from scene to scene uh, on my top grading layer and then the layers underneath are uh, shot to shot and there's multiple grading layers so you can see I, I don't have any looks now applied and uh, our footage is just uh, regular uh, 444 um, log C so you know I could apply looks to everything but I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go to the timeline tab here and just for this demo, I'm going to grab one more grading layer. I'm just going to throw it up top. I'm going to just drag it over the whole scene. And I'll go back to my looks. And uh, let's just take a look at them. The first I'll apply is our 35 uh, clean. So let's apply it. And instantly, you get a beautiful dynamic picture. Let's step to the beginning of that shot. Now that's literally just applying the look. Um, and that is your initial result. I mean, you are getting a very filmic 35 millimeter image right off the get-go. Let's, uh, I'm going to double click on this clip here, and what it did is set the in and out points to the entire timeline. And uh, so I'm just going to hit play, and let's go through a couple more looks. Let's apply our 3500K. So again, uh, a warmer stock, a um, little less contrasty. Uh, right out of the box, it's looking really pretty. And now we've got another scene that it's applied to, and you can see really nice, uh, rich, rich, rich colors. Perfect. Now we've got our mistress there, and again, we're watching the Kodak clean. And I haven't done any other color correction at this point. I'm literally just applying the speed look to the entire image. And, uh, you know, because it was uh, properly shot, uh, it's going to work right out of the box. So that's, you know... Uh, I mean, as a commercial, the director may like that and say, you know what, this is the look I'm going for. You know what, let's, let's go with this and start tweaking. I'm just going to go back home and uh, show off some of our other speed looks here. Um, let's get into, i just show you the HDR version. Again, very clean, low contrast. Um, whites aren't too white. Uh, whites are white, but uh, nothing's peaking, nothing's over the scale. Uh, there's another clean Kodak HDR yeah, and just a, a great overall look uh, not blowing out the contrast you can pause it here and take a look at what it's doing to the image that's really important there um, because uh, if this look was applied to your dailies um, again all the information is in the image right now the editor would uh, if he wanted to could just actually go ahead and I'll do it right now he could actually just go ahead in his nonlinear editor and I'll simulate it and he might just brighten up the shot and you can see how everything scales really nicely and I get in a nice stretch on my black and obviously that's too hot um, so we get into a place where we you know we like the nice contrast notice that I've got beautiful white here but yet nothing's at a hundred divisions and I've got really nice contrast so and, and then the other thing to note is that my RGB channels are chock full of information and that's a real big secret to filmic images. So again, I'll hit play now, and again, it'll play down over all my scenes, and um, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a really nice look. Now, I was I still got to do shot to shot uh, color correction, but you know, our looks put you in the right place 
um, from a color correction standpoint immediately and then you do all your magic work underneath uh, let's just go take a, a you know let's flash through a couple more looks just to show you that they all do really um, work let's try out uh, blue gold here whoa let's undo that <laughs> let's backspace that remember I applied a look under here and the looks need to live up top so a look within a look can give you a really interesting look unto itself <laughs> So again, we go with our blue cold. Now, let's take a look again. I need to do some shot to shot color correction, but the palette is definitely unique. Uh, again, please take note of the beautiful RGB channels here. We're using all of the gamut of the, of the camera and using all of this power. Um, and we've got, again, a really nice uh, muted, uh, dramatic cold look, and it, and it works from scene to scene uh, perfectly. And that doesn't mean you need to stop here, because you as an artist will start to tweak your actual look. So, you know what? We've got a scene. I've showed you a couple of the looks. Please check out our website. You can actually watch these videos before and afters and really get a sense of what it's doing. I'm going to drag this layer into the source viewer monitor right now, and that just deletes it. And now, let's start grading this scene. And, you know, you can, generally movies are done with one look, but you know what, let's do a couple looks on this uh, movie. So, uh, we have two scenes. We have uh, husband and uh, mistress. We have uh, husband and wife, right there. Uh, and uh, again, him and his mistress. So, I'd like to give the mistress a cooler feel and uh, the at home stuff uh, with his wife a warmer feel. So I'm going to select my 3500 clean F. We'll just double click it. Nice. Again, we can just uh, take a look at it. Uh, yeah, it looks great. I mean, I'm going to do some tweaking to that. And for our interior, I'm going to apply our warmer um, Kodak stock. So now I'll just click that. And now we've got a really warm, romantic picture there. Um, all right, uh, I've just basically, you know, kind of chosen my two looks here. Um, let's just kind of look at what you can do. Let's go back to this first clip here, and if we go to the grading layer, you'll see you've got your lookup table with uh, clean uh, Fuji look loaded. And I've also left a primary color correction in this uh, look for you, and this just a lot enables you to overall adjust the scene. So, for example, you know what we're thinking. Um, maybe overall it's a little too punchy so let's just maybe drop it down a bit and you know lift our blacks up a little and just get a little something a little less contrasty you know and for for whatever reason let's say the director said could you add just a little more pink or a pinkish skin tone so again I'll just creep some of those in and I'm doing that on my tangent but you can see I'm moving very small amounts in here so there's the there's the original look and maybe that's our tweaked look and we can now play that. Yeah, it works on both shots. It's really nice. Good. Let's go do that to our second scene. Um, again, when you when you apply our looks, look at our um, uh, the waveform, and you'll see that we're not clipping any of the channels, and we're maximizing all the channels. So it's all there right when you apply our look. But uh, again. Uh, depending on the direction uh, you can work within these looks and so let's let's start to dial this down at the same time I'm going to be lifting my offset and just softening this out a bit nice I'll we'll just hit play there mm, it's a little flat to me now I think we need to give it a little more life yeah well, let's say for argument's sake we're pretty happy with that picture it's got a nice warm look to it. Um, now, I, I know a lot of colorists like to um, add curves to, you know, take their top highlights and really push them. Well, we can do that in our base look here. If I click on my primary and then choose highlights, I can actually, uh, again, just start to turn the gain up in the highlights and you can see my scopes. Just the whites are now moving up and it's not adjusting any of my image. And so now, I've actually got some really punchy whites to this overall look. I think that works pretty well. Okay, so we've got our two looks. What we should do now is just uh, copy them over to the uh, to their other scenes. So, step to my next scene. This is um, 
now back into our cool world. So on, on the numeric pad, I'm going to hit the number 2. If I hit 1, I would get the previous grade that I just made. If I hit number 2, I'm getting 2 back from that. Our looks are very tailored and they are 3D, very dense 3D lookup tables that do emulate the color space of film. So everything falls into place and your cameras and your shots become very balanced and, and rich very quickly. So that's it for using speed looks. Uh, stay tuned for more tutorials. I'm going to be doing some uh, with uh, scenes that are a little more difficult to work with, not perfect footage. I'm Jeff August, and that's another Look Labs Speed Looks tutorial. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you soon.